Over the past 20 years, I have seen a lot of change and it's been positive. I've seen a lot of great staff come and go and a lot of staff have stayed here. So I think once you're in a spot, you it feels like a, a second home really. If you spend 200 days a year here with people, it becomes a community. When I came here, I got the sense that everybody knew everybody. And very quickly, I came to love going to faith days or workshops or the board office because I was greeted by name and I felt like family, I felt welcomed. Part of what we have arrived at in terms of best practices comes from trustees knowing the history, knowing where we came from and giving a less administrative context to the arguments. Uh, there was a real need to kind of establish a standard and uh, that way uh, no school was left without resources, no school was not considered for improvement. What we were able to evolve into was a, a board of representatives who were sharing ideas and sharing experiences in a much broader geography. It was a kind of conscious movement forward to see ourselves as one board and that took the, you know, took the vision of many, it took the hard work of many and I think it takes people who filled the role so well in bringing both sides of the board together, not treating it as both sides, that you know we have a common purpose, our purpose is uh, Catholic education, and uh, when we find what we have in common, then the unknowns and the uncertainties, all those things fell away. I think the biggest benefit has been the networking. We've had a lot of teachers, uh, principals, EAs, even custodians who have started here and have moved through the board. And because the board is such a big one, um, we're able to network more when we go to different PA days and different activities that are sponsored by the board. I think that likely it was one of the best things that could have happened, truthfully. We had very different programs in the West and, and in the East. I think one of the nicest things is that we were able to grow together from that point. So it was a moving forward point for us. It wasn't going back and, and saying, oh no, this doesn't work. It was, it was good for everyone. I've been teaching now, I think we've worked this out mathematically correct, 33 years. And I think I have recognized that there is so much more than just enjoying seeing kids get the math or being able to read, but it's more about the child feeling comfortable in here, feeling they want to come to school, being happy. To see someone who is learning English for the first time, when, when I see them at our graduations, because Loyola graduations are second to none, you see nothing but teary eyes everywhere. And I love it because I'll look at our director and he'll be the same. You know, it's just the heartfelt feeling of of success and you can't compare that to anything. I guess the biggest thing I've I've learned is it's also really important to go with what's happening in the classroom. So with the play-based learning it's been a great learning curve because sometimes what what you plan and where you end up isn't the same thing and that's really really good because I've seen firsthand what the kids learn from that. The technology that we have now compared to 17 years ago has really improved for the better and it's more hands-on learning for the kids. I create a rink here in the winter and that's one of my proudest moments. It started in 1996 and every principal since has supported it which I'm grateful for because I have kids come up to me in their 30s and say you're still making that rink. I love the connection. I love seeing kids I taught come back, their parents now or their and they want to come and see me and they tell me what they remember about doing in my class and it's never I remember learning you know this science concept or that they'll remember the the feeling of being in my class the joy the happiness the fun things we did that's that's why I love what I do. When you walk through our school uh, foyers, you'll see a banner that says faith in action and there's a quote from James, I by my works will show you my faith. I believe that is the basis of why we're here. I hope that we will always remember that we need to show why we're different. We are faith-based and that has to be visible in everything we do. It's familiar, it's nurturing, it's sort of a part of who you are. In the next 20 years, I see the evolution of, of learning to actually accelerate. I think that our children are showing us now 
that they can learn at a much faster pace. They can uh, adapt at a much faster pace than we ever gave them credit for. Let's make sure that what we are creating is going to sustain them through uh, the rest of their lives and let's make sure that we make that opportunity available to every child. We don't know what the future holds, but I think if we look back at, at what we've been able to achieve in, in 20 years, there'll be more technology in schools. But not only that, I think educators will be more adept at how to use it effectively to support learning, and, and our kids will as well. Our kids are very familiar with technology, and our educators are trying to find ways to use it to, to effectively teach and help them learn. But as our system becomes more in flux with technology and there's more training around that for our educators, I think uh, the sky's the limit for where we're going to go. I don't think you can ever look forward without looking back. Uh, success in education isn't, isn't about geography, it isn't geopolitical, it's about what's happening in every classroom, every school. Those are the things we do really well and that we need to uh, continue to make our priority. 20 years forward and beyond that. I have always felt that I'm going to be welcomed, I'm going to be recognized, I'm appreciated for what I have done and for who I am. And that small board feeling, I hope, never goes away. My wish for ALCDSB in the next 20 years is embrace change. If you get involved, you'll make a difference in the students' lives and the whole school community and in 20 years, maybe when you're asking these same questions in the 40th anniversary, that the staff member will say the same thing.